Hi, I'm Terry O'Reilly, founder of OBP Australia, a service for overseas-born professionals looking to either get their first job in Australia or advance their career once they're established in their profession. Welcome to the podcast. Each episode, I'll be talking to an ex-OBP Australia client who's been successful in finding employment in Australia. We'll get to hear about their journey and what advice they have for job seekers. Joining us today is Mercia Pretorius, Client Success Manager at Industry Connect Australia, a specialist IT training organisation with offices in Australia and New Zealand, offering a job-ready program which involves six weeks of technical training and a guaranteed internship with a global software company and soft skills training, which includes resume, LinkedIn profile and an interview preparation to help you apply for IT-related jobs with confidence. So, Mercia, welcome to the podcast. Thank you, Terry, and thank you for this opportunity. It's great to have you here. So, tell us about Industry Connect Australia. Yes, so Industry Connect um, is a software training company where we help people to get job ready for the IT market. Our ecosystem is an incubation process that supports our students until they secure a job related to the studies that they have done with us. Our programs are business intelligence, data analytics, software testing, as well as full stack software development. That sounds quite comprehensive. So what's a typical profile of somebody uh, you help? Yeah, so we get a lot of um, mums with a career gap. So they've probably come in from overseas, been looking after the kids because childcare can be so expensive. Um, so once the kids go into school, then they start, you know, thinking about their career, what I'm going to do now. So that's a lot of mums that would be then in contact because they have worked in IT before. So um, that's where we can help them. People that want to upskill, so people that are currently in the market and they need to update their technical skill set. Um, people that change their careers. So we've had people from engineering, doctors, dentists, from all walks of life um, changing their careers to IT that we've helped. And then also recent graduates, because we find there is a bit of a gap between what um, you know universities teach us and what the job market is actually using. So we close that gap. That, that's interesting. So Let's, for example, say someone has been an engineer and they decide to have a, a shift in career. What what do you think their challenges are compared to somebody who's, let's say, a fresh IT graduate but with no experience in any job? Is What's the difference? What challenges are those two groups of people facing? So from the engineering side, obviously they come from a non-IT background, um, which would make it challenging for them to obviously get into the market. So that's why a course, something like the Industry Connect um, program would be beneficial. So we'd start them off teaching them the basics of a specific tool and that progresses to advanced tools. We then place them into an internship to get that experience on how to use these tools on a project. So it's gonna take time because it's new but eventually they do get there, you know, also depending on how much time and effort they put into this, um, but they do become successful. Sure. And those people who are having a career change, do, do they generally choose a specific element of IT that's more popular than others, like, for example, testing or are they data people? Where do you see the movement, the most popular movement into? Most popular is definitely going into data because you can always use your past experience in the field of data. All companies are using data now in order to make business decisions. So having that past experience in a specific sector and then adding that data aspect to it uh, can help them to maybe get into that health sector, back into the health sector again, or they might land up into a completely different sector. But data is what we would recommend 
because it doesn't require that hardcore programming languages like software development or testing. Right. So we're talking about Power BI, are we, or other? That's correct. Yeah. So Power BI, SQL, um, are some of the tools that's been used in the field of data. Okay. And what about fresh graduates, maybe who uh, are highly motivated to enter the IT industry, but simply don't have the experience? Because what I've, I find is that a lot of people finish their let's say, masters in Australia, but have come from overseas. Mm -hmm. So they haven't done an internship. And what do you see as the biggest challenge for people in this position? The biggest challenge is that because they're doing a specific, let's say a degree in IT, it's a broad degree that they do. So they're only covering a bit of the basics of all different um, tools, all different subjects. It's not related specifically, let's say, software development. Some of the studies is not specifically on software development. So now that student graduates, what what is it that he wants to do? Where is he going to go? What jobs are he, is he going to apply for? Because he's got this broad category that he can apply for. But that's where I would usually advise students, you know, look at what is it that you want to do in IT specifically because the IT job market is so big. You need to know exactly what is it that you want to do, enhance your skill set on that specific role, get the experience on that specific role so that you can get into the job market. Right. Yeah, that's a really good point because IT in itself is such a general term, it's almost meaningless, yes. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So the detail, the specifics is really what you're emphasizing there. And you yes. mentioned before data. Um Mm-hmm. What else is hot at the moment apart from data? Um, apart, apart from data analytics, uh, cybersecurity is a big one, software development, big cloud engineering, machine learning. The thing is with these jobs, um, let's take, for example, cybersecurity. It's a very, a lot of large corporates would use cybersecurity. Now, when it comes to Australia, it's a lot of small to medium businesses and they're not going to use cybersecurity. So for a junior, for someone that's just done their studies in cybersecurity, and now to get into the market, it's very challenging because you are competing with intermediate to senior people. So maybe start somewhere as a foundation and then build your career towards that, for example, cybersecurity. Sure. So for data analytics, you know, start your foundation as a data analyst, and then build your career towards data engineer, data science. Yep, that sounds like good advice. Now, you're the face of the company. Uh, clients will meet you. They'll see you. You're the person representing Industry Connect. But but who are the people delivering the training? So when it comes to your six weeks of technical training, that is all done by industry experts. So they are people that works in the industry as either test engineers, software developers, software engineers, data engineers. They've got years, of, for minimum 15 years of experience. So that is their day job. And in the evenings, they would be the tutor. So the tutor, students can feel confident that they will have an industry expert teaching them and guiding them during their six-week training. Right. And, and is that training online or face-to-face? It's fully online. So your classes are a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night, um, and it's done via Zoom. It's an interactive classroom. So if you've got any questions, the tutor can answer that question there and then for you. However, some people work shifts. Uh, not everybody can attend the live classes. There is a recording available So you will be able to see what was discussed in the class and that way you don't miss out on anything. And very convenient too, because people don't have to leave their home. They can attend classes from the luxury of their their own house. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So a lot of the times when it comes to mums or families, the husband will look after the kids while the mum is in class um, busy upskilling. Yeah, it's very, very common these days. Everyone's doing yeah. professional development online. And if people are interested, how do they contact you? So they can uh, reach out to me on LinkedIn. 
or they can visit our website um, at industryconnect.org. They can go to the apply button and then um, just fill, complete the form. Now we have a special offer for all your listeners for our next intake starting on the 24th of June. So when they register their details, they can just click on the radio button. So that way I know it will come from this podcast. Um, and then I will be in contact with them to discuss, uh, you know, the challenges that they are facing or the changes that they would like to make um, just to get a better understanding of where they are at. And then I can give them on some guidance and advice on what would be the best to do to achieve that dream. Great. So that that personalized advice is really important, isn't it? Because everybody's yes. in a different situation. That's correct. Yeah. So every person is unique, got their own unique story. Um, and I focus on everyone's unique story. You know, will be this be able to help you? If not, I will give you some other advice on, okay, maybe try this approach or maybe go and see Terry. <laughs> that would also be able to assist you. Excellent. So just to clarify, most of my clients um, are ready to work in their industry, whereas yours are people who need to do a little bit of training to upskill first, correct? Mm -hmm. That's correct, yes. Yeah, okay. All right, so that's all excellent advice there, Mersha. Thanks for joining me today. Um, just before we finish off, is there any final parting advice you would like to give or maybe anything else you'd like to mention about Industry Connect? Yeah, I would definitely, advice I would like to give um, is the market is flooded with so many courses which can be quite overwhelming for someone, you know, like how do I know this is the right course? How do I know they're going to teach what is being used in the market? So um, look for a provider that can offer you training plus an internship so that you can get that hands-on experience and local experience to get into the market. So that's the most important because without experience coming from a non-IT background or need to upskill, the experience is going to be crucial for you to get into the market. So training plus an internship, it just means that you're going to benefit from that more. Invest in yourself um, and invest in your future career so that you can get into that professional job. Good advice to finish on. Now I'm going to You'll see the link down the bottom there to the Inter Industry Connect details and get in touch with uh, Mersha either via LinkedIn or through those details. And thanks again for joining us in the podcast, Mersha. Thank you so much for having me, Terry. OBP Australia provides guidance and support with job applications and approaching employers, industry awareness, interview coaching, and language and communication. You'll also be introduced to your professional peers already working in Australia, so you can get the lowdown on what's happening in your industry or profession. If you're looking for guidance and support to find your next job, email me at terry at obpaustralia.com.au. Let's talk.